You know, the long winter nights are coming, and I've decided that we're going with the Blue Eyes Blinky this year. You guys saw this in another video yesterday, and you're probably like, oh man, what is this? He's even got the Dual Monsters back to this. So, when you're sad and pathetic this winter season, put yourself in face down defense mode uh, with a blanket from our friends at Unknown Supply Corp. Let's dig into Market Watch, shall we? All right, what is up, Marco Watch? I'm Cool Forty Years. So, disregard the fat Cyber Monday on every tab here. That'll be gone by the time the morning goes up here. Actually, it ends in like ten minutes, but it's besides the point. So, magical musket cast bar here. Of course, we're up to nineteen dollars at this point in time. My absolute favorite. Everybody and their mother saw that the deck did well. Uh, one lucky Croatian made all the card value go up. So, we're at nineteen bucks now. Starfire is also creeping up. So, also as a side note, if you guys are making an order up to Easter Player, please support the channel by using the discount link down below. It helps give something back to this channel and makes my life easier to play this bad game without eating into profits of the business. So, outside of that, yeah, there's nothing too special going on back here. Yay, Magical Musk, goodbye out! Alright, Speed Duel stuff. I was requested to look at this. We have a new set literally coming into circulation i believe this week is the release date for it um if not already but interesting stuff here so a lot of your competitive stuff still kind of sitting where it is uh the book of lifes are going up we actually have a competitive field right now for speed duel because skull servants are really good um outside of that oh hmm yeah, I don't see anything too crazy back here other than, like, the Book of Lifes are creeping up. Um, second set, okay, so Ocean Control, still the same. Dust Tornado, still the same. Sonic Bird, still pretty cheap. Uh, Zombina, still a $4 card. Alright. Um, outside of this, set two. Um, did, did this set have the Skull Servant in it? Apprentice bought out all right so speed duel is one of those things that i know people are just on the fence about they're like yeah it's not the best thing in the world see sir Karibos are 12 dollars. oh there's our big skull serving guy this is the one of the best cards in the game it's actually not bought out we're still holding the line at about five bucks though for this which is pretty all right send you dollar fifty outside of that speed is a very cheap thing i get why people don't want to spend money on it but it does, it's an alternate format type thing. Mystic Fighters, hey look, still $40. Look, still $30. Look, still $28. It's like nothing's ever changed. Uh, the Generator Boss Monster, down to 9 bucks. Laplace still 9 Boss Stage, still 4 bucks. Adion, still 5 And still sitting at like 4 bucks for the Dragon Maid. Alright, so nothing too crazy back here has happened in this hodgepodge of a set. Lost Art Promotion. I was told to look at Soul Drains, and uh, yeah, solid 250 on these. Only 15 listings. Anything else crazy in the Lost Art Department that you should know about? Reborn still floating. Skill Drain still 9 bucks. Call still 450. Rings still dollar fifties. Man, that's that's disgustingly cheap. And Lesser Fiend's like 25 cents. Lesser Fiend to buy out just for the Lost Art promotion. Exidy. All right, Electromites. Well, we're still at eleven or seven fifty, and still at seven bucks. Yeah, nothing's changed on these guys, uh, as I expected. Dragonic diagrams, still tens, twelves, and about nine. Okay, so leading over Raptor, still a five dollar card for some reason. Um, as you can see, the very slow creep up on this at this point. Not terrible. Oh, Charcoal and Pachi. Hello, friend. Since you're the meme of me, Marinos. I have to talk about every market watch for some reason. Um, hit me with the ever so expensive mod plays for like 12 bucks. Who? Just for that first edition stamp. Mr. Magic there with the $11 copy for Light Play. Near Mint still 25 No thank you. Uh, Panda Borgs. 8 cents, or 9 cents by the way, for this. <laughs> Uh, me or Bug from the TP Pack Speed Duel 2 is literally a dollar. Oh, man. Anything else going on in Speed Duel Tournament Pack 2? Still 65 on this. Fortress Whale's 100. 
King of the Skull Servants is forty dollars. Great Moth is twenty-seven. That's disappointing. Actually, poor speed dual format. Appaloosa still five hundred dollars, and well, seventy-two on regular copies. I'm, I'm impressed how well Appy is holding in value right now. It's actually interesting. Um, moving on along here. Uh, Mass Hero Acid. Ooh. Huh. It's been a little while since I've actually looked at this guy. We were like 22, and then we started creeping down. It wasn't a good creep down either, actually. It was one of those really... I, I want to say bad ones, um, for the most part. Yeah, first edition's down to 14 at this point for these. All right. Infinity Track. Oof. We're still 16 bucks, and we're creeping back down. That's good to see. Trents. Hello. Um, for some reason, people like this card. I think it's just because of the name. Literally. Um... Yeah, 50 cents is what we're looking at there. All right, slight investments to talk about for the ever-pending release of Needle Fiber. Shooting Rise of Dragons up to $7 now. And then you got, like, the 30-cent chump change ones, of course. Uh, Max Seas, 190 bucks, Ladies and gentlemen, choo-choo. Uh, the investment train coming through. Actually looking quite nice here. Uh, for this. Um, I do want to check a couple of things here. I think I forgot to grab. Tempest Magician. This was this was one that we've tracked in the past. First up, Supers. Okay, so $1.90 on that. Yikes. That is a... Uh, okay, it's two fifty. Alright. That's... Not good, but what we care about here is first edition Tempest Magicians. All right, hit me with this good stuff because first edition of these have got to be ridiculous. I like play for 20. All right, that's not terrible. Uh, near mint 27 bucks. All right, not bad, it's not amazing, but it's something. Um, all right, cool bulb. I also heard that these were calming down a little bit off of their high horse. Yeah, light plays down to 60. That's that's acceptable. 11s for the legendary 5Ds. Uh, Star Strike Blast also look like they've calmed down a little bit. Um, light plays at 7 bucks. Okay, so we are going down. 9 bucks for near mint. All right. Spiral stuff. I talk about this every market watch, and it's it just doesn't sink in with people that uh, this is going up. It, it's very slow. All right. This broken card. All right, Mr. Timeless is already a $2 card. I'm expecting, mark my words on this, this is another one of those cards that I have a feeling will eventually go up in price. Dugrass the Timeless is a combo piece that is just ticking to go up in price. Um, don't be surprised one day if you uh, come back and you see that uh, this card has just gone through the roof. Uh, Dark Laws are $115. It's a yikes for me. Woo! $420 on Ancient Gear Golems, and the mod play listings are gone. $270. <laughs> I love it. All right, Ancient Gear Fusion, still 60 bucks. Yikes. <laughs> Why? A Wyvern is still a $5 card, but why? Why'd you go up, buddy? But he actually just finished them off. They're like, all right. Boral Load, Savage Dragon, still 28 bucks. Surprisingly, this is holding. Um, Ash Blossoms, all right. Light Place, 25s. Feet are 6 bucks. That finally happened. Oh, uh, what's going on with Dual Dev? Seeing Ashes are still you finally creep up. Super Polys at 575. Cold Bice at 2s. The set just screams long-term hype. Um, yeah, literally king of dollar cards. The set. Hello, ghost bells. It's the first that one of you going for. It's been a little bit. Light play thirteen. Sure. Uh, cool. Fourteen bucks. Yikes. Ultimate ghost dogger still eighty dollars. All right, I dig it. 
Uh, secret first editions. Cross souls. Still creeping on up, I see. Um, you know, 33 for light play. Yikes. And 36. Alright, no thank you. Instant fusion, light play. Hmm. I see like $62 here. Do we just jump ship on the value here? Yeah, near mint 72 and going up, of course. Dingrisu's 39s, and then still 30s on Galatea. Surprise how well these have held. Regular Dingrisu's are uh, 29, though. And Orchestrator returns, calming down, back down to 24. It's acceptable. Marin says stuff's 20 on Seahorse. Anemone's down to uh, 16 bucks. The Wu-Tang Clan down to 11. Ugh. This deck might be cheap to pick up now. Uh, Mecha Fan of Beast O-Lion, still about a $4 card from what I've seen for the most part. Um, Theseus buyout, by the way. So, literally, we're up... To, I, I mentioned this the other day. I was like, this should be a, a good buyout. Whoever went in on it, kudos to you. Um, best card 2017. Finally, we get some love here. Nine bucks, by the way. Cosmic Cyclones, $36. I'm surprised to see those moving up. Hmm. And then me, I'm still a dollar, for the most part. Not looking too bad out here. So this is all I got from the market watch today. Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think. And well, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Do Serena. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a triple shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.